Hello, guys. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. I see Juan, Maurice, Atilio. Well, Carlos Omar is joining. Good okay, evening, guys. Teacher. So, good evening. How was your day? Good evening. Good evening. I'm fine. It was okay? Yeah? I'm working at, at home. home you office. Were... Oh, that's cool. At least, uh, Carlos, yes. yeah, you are from home. So you avoid yes. the traffic. <laughs> yeah, which is terrible, right? The traffic jam is terrible. Yes, um, yes. Yes. Okay. So what about you, Maris? For me, hi, fine. You, okay, you're fine. So your day was yeah. okay? Yeah, okay. Oh, perfect. Okay, so I can say that we also have Jonathan. Um, let me see, guys. I think that we also have Marion. And Jonathan is connecting. Okay, so we are going to start with today's class. Basically, guys, well, I was like, let me see. Let me see if we have. Everyone? Yes. Good evening, Jonathan. How are you? I'm fine, and you? I'm okay. I'm pretty good, you know. So today is uh, Tuesday. We are almost in the middle of the week. So that means that um, it's been a great week, right? Kind of uh, busy, but very good. All right. So we have Wilbur. We also have Roberto. We have Luis. Perfect. All right, guys. So once again, you know, guys, today we are going to start just by making a review about the things that we covered yesterday, right? Because some of you couldn't connect yesterday, then we are going to go ahead and make a review on the things that we covered at the very beginning. It will be so fast, but first, today's agenda. All right, so today we're going to talk about the academic calendar once again, just for the ones that were not present yesterday. We are going to move then to grammar. We have a lot of activities. We have listening, we have speaking, we have different quizzes that we are going to take today, okay? So then we are going to start, uh, well, now you know my name is Isamar. You can call me teacher, right? Um, and about me, I've been an English teacher for almost eight years now. And I have also worked as an academy director. I also have different experience in different uh, fields, right? I love learning new things, guys. I think that, you know, um, knowledge is actually power, right? Because if you are prepared, there are many opportunities for you. And I can tell you that that is true. If you know uh, about different areas and if you have English, so there are many opportunities for you. Okay, so then guys, about homework and evaluations, remember that we have five weeks that we are going to be together. So we have week one, week two, week three, week four, and week five, and you also can see um, the date, right? So we pretend to cover it with one. So that means section one on the platform. Do not forget about your homework on the platform. Uh, we need to cover section one this week, okay? So that means that on Friday, you should have finished uh, section one, yeah? Then week two, from May 22nd to May 26th is going to be section two, and we need to finish that section on the platform. Week three, section three, which is from May 29th to June 2nd, and we need to cover section three during this week. Then we also have week four, section four, that means from June 5th to June 9th. Good evening. Good evening, Vladimir. Then we also have the last week, which is going to be week five. And during week five, we need to cover section five and is the final exam, right? So guys, basically that is going to be what we need to cover about evaluation. This is just for the ones that were not here uh, yesterday. About the requirements, we know and most of you have been with us right during those modules so you know that we need to have the full name whenever we we are here in zoom uh, we also need to turn on our camera uh, you know it's actually part of the i would say protocol that we need to follow right and it's very important for you to show that you are present right so uh participation you know that that is um also required right 
Then about the attendance, remember that the attendance is going to be uh, sometimes two times during the session. We are going to take it at least, um, I would say maybe at uh, 8.50 or 9 p.m. Just because of the activities that we are going to be like developing, sometimes we won't be able to do it like in the same time, right? So it will vary. Then, uh, you know, you need to connect to all of your classes, right, in order for you to have the 100% of attendance. That is very important for you guys. And of course, for you not to lose uh, content, right, the information that we are going to be covering, because it will be relevant for your learning process. Then, um, what else? Um, well, about Zoom, guys, you know that you need to be muted just for us to avoid the background noise, right? The camera, once again, try to turn it on, please. Okay, then we also have the chat. Uh, this is going to be one of the way that we can communicate, right? So if you um, have questions, you can go ahead and send those questions to the chat. Or if you want to um, ask your questions, you can raise your hand, right? So you can go ahead and, and, and um, share your, your uh, questions or any type of doubt that you may have. Um, once we are on the breakout rooms, because we are going, today we are going to go to the breakout rooms, okay? Because we have some activities that we are going to be performing as teams. So, um, you know, you are going to have there a bottom where it says, ask for help. If you have your Zoom in English, so you are going to see, ask for help. But if not, it is going to be in Spanish and that will be pedir ayuda, right? And the most important one, respect right that is the most important thing whenever uh, we are learning something new okay and when you are like sharing with your partners so basically guys that was the information that we covered yesterday um and i also sent uh let me go ahead and share and show you this um yes so i also Send this yesterday to the WhatsApp group just for you to have all of our classes. Okay, so we covered class one yesterday uh, and we are going to cover class two today. You also have the date, right? So today is Tuesday, May 16th. So that is um, the one that we are going to cover today. So for today, as you can see, we have a listening quiz. We also have one quiz where you are going to order different sentences in order for us to know how you think in English, right? Because this exercise is going to help you out to arrange your ideas when it comes to English, um, the English language. So we also have the present perfect reading. You know, this one, um, this practice is going to be kind of different because on this practice, you won't be able to see your score but it's kind of um, easy, okay? It's just for you to practice verbs, yeah, in past participle. And we also have adverb quiz that this quiz is about the class that we are going to cover today. So just for you to, to know, and if you have access, please go ahead and open the class because we are going to use it today. Okay, guys, so we are going to start and we are going to start with the following, okay? With the warm up. Okay, so it says, if you could have any superpower, what would it be? Okay, so here are some possible choices. Okay, so we have teleportation, night vision, animal communication, mind control, time travel, invisibility, super strength, flight, elasticity, and shape shifter. Okay, so um think about it i'll give you a couple of seconds okay and i will ask for your participation okay so if you could have one superpower what would it be and why i would like to know why yeah okay do i have some volunteer mm -hmm. me to jet okay george well, I, I think, um, I will it be the time travel because time travel? I would like to change many things, um, bad in my life, for example, okay. and 
uh, I would like also leave many things or with my my old parents. Okay. Okay, okay. Um with your grandparents. Okay. Yes. Okay. Very good. Okay. Yes. Sometimes I think that we all mm, wish, right? That type of I would say a superpower, right? Mm -hmm. Thank you, George. Okay, somebody else? All right, thank you. Somebody else? Jonathan. If you're speaking, we cannot hear you. You're driving, okay? Don't worry then, okay? So just be careful. Good evening, Raul. Okay, somebody else? Yeah, I think that, okay. Don't worry, Jonathan. Somebody else that would like to share their opinion? Tony. Yes, teacher. Mm, I would like to fly. I, do, mm -hmm. I would like to have a superpower like fly because okay. it's, a, it's a funny option to travel with a paid um, tickets for, for planes or, or or to make a tourism. You can make a different activities and know different places. Okay, yes. It's a lie, it's because the fuel is so expensive. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, okay. <laughs> Well, I think that if you fly, so you can avoid different things, right? Because you're going to avoid the traffic, right? Any type of inconvenience that you may encounter, right? So I think that, yes, that could be a good superpower as well. Yeah, that okay. one. <laughs> okay, all right. Very good. Okay, somebody else? I should stay in travel. Why? I want to talk with my dad. I want uh, to to go to different age. Okay. Like different periods of time. Periods of the periods of time, yes. Mm. Okay. I wanna I want to talk with Tesla. <laughs> oh my god, okay, Luis. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, could be perfect. All right. Uh somebody else? Me yeah, teacher. Sure. Okay, Alida. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then Maurice. Okay, perfect. Okay. For okay. Me... I, I would like to uh, have the superpower of animal communication. Why? Because I would like to know uh, how how they how they live, how is the the world. Because I think in the end there is there is a, a different word than they ask and how they understand the between each other. Okay, that would be interesting, right? Mm. Do do you think that um, do you think animals have feelings? Yeah, I think that. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Thank you, Alida. Maurice? Uh, for me, teacher, uh, superpower is uh, my control. Why my control? Uh, because I will have a control of the mind and the correct answer. Oh, okay. All right. Yes. That would be great as well. Okay, perfect, Maurice. All right, guys, somebody else? No? Uh, well, there are, many, um, there are many superpowers that we have right here, right? That would be awesome, right? If we have them. But yes, I think that um, as Aleida said before, animal communication, because it's a different world, right? So we don't know what they think we can see them but we don't know what they are thinking right so 
very good. All right, let's move, guys, and let's continue with the following. So today we are going to talk about, um, you know, the product development, but we are going to cover some information about um, marketing as well, okay? Something that is related to the things that we are covering uh, from the book. Okay, so we have advertising and promotion. Types of advertising, yeah? Um, can you please help us reading this information? Um, let me see. Let me go ahead and check. Carla, can you please help us reading this information? All of this. Okay. Uh, banner ads, billboards, brochures, uh, bulk mailing, mm -hmm. classify ads. Yes. Call, call, calling, calling, commercial flyers. Yes. Neon signs. Yes. Paper click ads. Yes. Pop up ads. Pre pre roll ads. Yes. Product endorsement. 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 Product yes. endorsement. Product placement, yes. Uh, Chop displays and word of mouth. Perfect. Thank you. All right, guys. So let's see. Uh, we have banner ads, billboards, brochures, bulk mailing, classified ads, call calling, commercials, flyers, neon signs, pay per click ads, pop up ads, pre roll ads product endorsement, endorsement, product placement, shop displays, and word of mouth. All right, guys. So in this case, what are banner ads? Can, can someone explain to us what are banner ads? Where can we find them? Or any type of explanation that you can give us? Uh -huh. No banner ads. Mm -hmm. Sorry, teacher, you can repeat the answer. The, the question? question? Yes. Yeah. What are banner ads? Where can we find them? Banner ads. Yes. Where we find them? Yes. Um, on the internet. On the internet? All right. Okay. And videos of YouTube. And okay. Spotify, Facebook. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Somebody else that might have any different opinion? The banner ads? Banner ads. Uh, 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 I think. In the picture the Tony Elias, uh, his example, banner ad. Yes, that is correct. <laughs> that one is going to be a banner ad. All right, very good. You know, guys, the banner ads in Spanish um, son los banners, right? That's it. Los banners, the ones that we can see whenever we have any type of event or when we go to any type of uh, fair, right? Or even sometimes um, some telecommunication companies, they do have banner ads at the entrance, right? So banners are the ones that we can see, right? Uh, that are sometimes small, sometimes they are really big, right? So those are banners, yeah? What are billboards? I think it's like the magazines, teacher. The magazines? Mm, not exactly. Billboards are the big ones, the ones that we can see on the road. So mm -hmm. um, it is like are... a spotlight. Billboard is like a, yeah. a spotlight. Correct, like that. Um, and buildings. Correct. Mm -hmm. 
las vallas publicitarias. Vallas uh, en la calle. Okay. Yes. Billboards. Billboards. Vallas publicitarias. Okay. Well, brochures, you know what is brochures, right? So bulk mailing. What is bulk mailing? The bulk mailing will be those type of um, emails that we receive. Yeah. Masivos. Okay. Yes, correct. So los correos masivos. Oh. You receive a lot of that, right? If you go to spam or if you go to, um, yeah, like others, right? So sometimes we have different type of emails right there. Son los correos masivos. Maybe like a and broadcasting. Exactly, something like that, right? The classified ads are the ones that we can find on the newspaper. Yeah, the classified, the name itself uh, says, right? The classified ads. The cold calling type of advertising is the one that we sometimes, uh, you know, this is very common in our country, cold calling right, that we receive some calls from different companies and they offer us different type of, uh, sometimes credit card, or sometimes they say, hey, you know what, you can choose a different plan for your mobile phone, right? So those are cold calling. Here in our country, guys, that doesn't work. But in the US or in this type of companies, in countries, sorry, so they do, um, they do take into account the cold calling because they love to buy things. In the US, they love to buy things. So if you call them offering different type of promotions, they will accept. But in our country, let's say that if somebody calls you and maybe says to you, right, hey, you know what, I'm offering a credit card. Most of the time we say, you know what, I'm not interested in that right now. Or you know what, I already have one and that's not true, right? Or something like that. In our country, the cold calling doesn't <clears throat> work that much. Commercials are the ones that we can see on the TV. Commercials, okay? That's the word. Announcements, no. Commercials, okay? Commercials are the ones that we can see on the TV. Then we have flyers. You know what are flyers, right? The piece of paper that um, they give you whenever you are like just passing by, they give you a flyer, right? And you can see the products, etc. Yeah, of a company. Okay, so we also have neon signs. Those are, eh, in Spanish, los anuncios eh, o la publicidad le dicen... Um, Luminosa. Oh. Yes. Yeah, those oh. are correct. En español es como publicidad luminosa, creo que es el, el, el nombre correcto, que es como las, uh, las luces así bien bonito, open, closed, or, or the name of, 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 the, um, of the company, etc. Right? So the pay-per-click ads, what are those? What are the pay-per-click ads? Where can uh, we find them? We can find them on the internet or on the some internet. applications. Correct. Exactly. So the pay-per-click ads are the ones that we find whenever we go into a website, right? So when we go into a website, um, we can, sometimes we have um, pop-up ads. And those pop-up ads, like we have right these, here, if you click on those ads, so they become the pay-per-click ads, right? If you click on them, somebody is going to get money just because you click on that ad, yeah? So this is very common nowadays. People make a lot of money on, on this way. What are the pre-roll ads? The pre-roll ads are the ones that we all, we all have seen. The pre-roll ads are the ones that whenever we are watching a video on YouTube or even on Facebook, 
I'm not sure on Instagram, but on Facebook, yes. That sometimes you are watching the video and suddenly it appears an advertising, right? So you see right there, publicity. They interrupt. YouTube is usually used. This, yeah, this YouTube is, is actually the one that has a lot of free roll mm -hmm. ads. A lot of free roll ads, right? That you cannot skip unless you have the premium, right? But if you don't have premium, so you need to see, you need to watch that advertisement and then you can go ahead and continue listening to uh, the music, right? Or listening to whatever thing that you are listening to, right? What is the product endorsement? This one is very common nowadays. The product endorsement, influencers. Product endorsement, influencers. That's it. That is like the explanation, okay? So they show the product, they use the product, and they sell the product to you. The influencer, right? The product endorsement is made by influencers. Then we also have product placement. The product placement, guys, is this, this type of advertising. I don't know if you have seen this, but when you are, when you are watching, I'm going to mention this, right? Because I have seen uh, this type of advertising on that uh, TV program, okay? So I don't know if you sometimes watch this um this TV program in the morning in channel two, four, and six. So they sometimes, they sometimes, um, what they do is that they say, you can eat at Subway, this and that, right? And they show the promotions that Subway has. That is product placement. Uh, most of the time we can find a product placement on the TV. Whenever you are probably watching news, right, that they sell Pizza Hut, you can call Pizza Hut at 12 noon, exactly at 12 noon, right, they, that is product placement on the TV, yeah, the shop displays are this type of um, advertising that we can find most of the time in stores, right, in las tiendas, when you go to, okay, the most common ones, right, when you go to, which uh, store it could be um sarah or it could be Breshka or it could be um, any type of clothing store so they have this is called escaparate in spanish yeah son estas secciones donde ellos tienen los maniquís y básicamente los tienen como de un color bien bonito tiene otra sección de otro color y usted le llama la atención so those are shop displays. Probably in telecommunication uh, companies, what they do is that they actually place phones in, in one part, then tablets on the other one, and so on, right? The shop displays. And the word of mouth is the most common one sometimes because it's uh, the same in Spanish, la publicidad de boca en boca. Yeah, the word of mouth advertising. Yeah, this one is very common, at least in our country. I think that word of mouth advertising is is, is common. Mm -hmm. Yes. You ask, right? You ask your friends, um, do you recommend this company? Right? Do you recommend their internet service? Do you recommend their food? Do you recommend um I mean studying there? Even, right, you ask for opinions when you are going to study something in different places, yeah? So now let's talk about the following, okay? So we have marketing for locations. As you can see, the one that is in red, all right, are the marketing for locations. So number one, two, three, four, and five, okay? Those five, the first five, as you can see, we have a question. But the most important part is this part that is in red, yeah? Um, Emerson, can you please help us reading from one to six? Okay. What is your company's 
target market? Mm -hmm. Does your company have a large product range? Mm -hmm. What do you spend most of the year making bar budget on? Mm -hmm. What is the best way to build a brand image? Yes. Which company has the biggest market share in your industry? Okay. What is the best way to do market research? Thank you, Emerson. Now, Emerson, repeat after me and say target market. Target market. Target. Target market. 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 Yes, target market. Yes. Okay. Now, in the last one, can you please say marketing budget? Marketing budget. Budget. Yes. Okay, budget. thank you. Okay. Yes. Okay, guys, pronunciation, okay? And this is for everybody. So, target market. A large uh -huh. market. product range. Marketing budget. A brand image market share and market research. Okay, guys, number one, okay, what you need to do is that you need to, um, I would say, try to guess, okay? We have from A to F, which is the correct definition for each term. So if I ask you, what is your company's target market? What do I mean? Letter D. Letter B. 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 Or o. o. B. Okay. Yes. What is letter D? Target market. Uh, okay. Can you please read letter D? Ah, the growth of people that a company wants to sell a product to. All right. So the group yeah the group of people that a company wants to sell a product to yes that is your target market what about if i ask you number two does your company have a large product range what is product range a large product range Mm -hmm. Um, maybe a product where uh, the distance they can be sold or or quantity of people. The quantity of people. Um. Okay. Um. I mean. Um. If I can sell me my product. Uh, here in El Salvador or in the USA, for example. Got it. Got it. Okay. Okay. Yes. It. It. Yes. Mm, I would say that. Yes, it is partially correct. The product range is actually the variety of uh, gadgets of the different types of products that the excellent. company. Has. Correct. So it is the different type of products that a company or a store sells. Correct. But what you mentioned, Jose, it is related to that as well, right? Yes. So the large product range, a large product range. If I ask you, what do you spend most of your marketing budget on? What is marketing budget? Is the budget that we have uh, to invest for a marketing? What? <laughs> for yes. a, yeah, for market for marketing um, a studio or something like that. Uh, for marketing research. Okay. Yeah, marketing research. All right. I think that yes, you are correct. So basically, the marketing budget, as Aleida mentioned. Yes, it is that type, that amount of money, all right? So that the amount of money that a company has to spend 
to promote and sell its products, right? Yes, that is the marketing budget. It's just the amount of money that the company has, yeah? Now, what is the best way to build a brand image? What is the brand image? The letter C. Okay. The customer's and, view huh? and impression of the company. Correct. That is the brand image. It is the customer's view and impression of a company. Is how you see the company, right? That is the brand image. It could be good or it could be bad, but it is the brand image. Yeah. And we all also as individuals, we have a brand image, right? Not only businesses, but also we as people, right? We have brand image. What about number five? Which company has the biggest market share in your country? What is market share? The letter E. And what is letter E? The percentage of sales of a particular market that the company has. Correct. It is the percentage of sales. Okay, so those are terms in English, guys, but it's the same in Spanish. I mean, we also have the terms in Spanish, right? But whenever you are speaking in English, those are the different type of terms that we should use. The market share. What is your market share, right? The percentage of sales. Yeah. So in number six, what is the best way to do market research? What is market research? It is it's the process of carrying information about what people need or want. Excellent. So perfect, letter S, right? That is market research, yeah? Mm -hmm. In Spanish, it's like el estudio de mercado, right? The market research, okay? Instead of saying market study, we can say market research. That is the term that we should use, market research. Yeah, very good, all right? Now, let's move, okay? Let me, uh, let me ask you different type of questions, okay? And let me know if you agree or disagree, yeah? Do you believe that word of mouth is the most effective form of advertising? Yes or no? And why not? Or why you think that yes, it is? It depends. On what? Um, by a singular reason. When uh, mm -hmm. company is new and they don't have money to make a a big mm -hmm. presentation all use different um, kind of, of publicity, TV, radio, uh, internet. Uh, the most common way to uh, know the product, the service is about the the the, mom, the word of mouth. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe an example when the pandemic has closed the all the stores, mm -hmm. you can buy different options of food by mm -hmm. recommendations of, uh, of friends or families mm -hmm. that make um, dinner or, or make food and they send by, a, by, by Uber or another type of, of, of uh, transport or deliver the, the, the food. Delivery service, yes. Exactly. And, and this is a, 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 the most common, the, the most uh, cheaper way to. The uh, cheapest. Uh -huh. the cheapest uh, the way to uh, announce your company or entrepreneur yes and that is correct Tony I think that this um is this is uh, I would say um a good strategy of course it depends on your budget as you mentioned before mm -hmm. exactly. mm -hmm. that is correct yes I agree on that okay number two pre-roll at Okay, pre-roll ads are very annoying for the viewer, but effective for businesses. The ones that we see on YouTube whenever we are listening to a song, 
and it stops right because of the pre roll at. Uh -huh. Are they very annoying for you? Very, very much. Sometimes, yes, because sometimes you, you need to probably watch something like in a fast way, right? And you cannot uh, watch it because of the pre roll ads, right? Mm -hmm. That is correct. Do you think that commercials are a waste of money? The ones that we um, sometimes see on the TV commercials? Do you no, think that no? I don't. I don't think that because I think that is the one of the best uh, ways to let them know to the to the to people about a new product. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm, well, um, with commercials, I think that it depends on on the type of product that you are selling, right? Because, you know, it depends on your target market, right? Because if it is uh, maybe teenagers or uh, adults or young people, maybe commercials are not the most effective way, right? It depends probably on the product, yeah. What about number four? Pop-up ads are very distracting. The pop-up ads are the ones that suddenly appear, right? So the pop-up ads son los que aparecen de repente. Los anuncios que les aparecen de repente. Usted está en un website y le aparece un anuncio. Do you think that they are very distracting? Or no? I don't yeah. like that. that Yes, I think that sometimes, yes, but yes. Okay, so number five, billboard ads are only effective to uh, for certain types of businesses. What do you think about that? Las vallas publicitarias que se ven cuando van a sus casas, right? Do you think that um, billboard ads are only effective for certain type of businesses? Or not exactly, because the most, I would say, um, the most um, billboard ads that we see, the majority are about food, I think. About food. And sometimes universities and call centers, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe it's effective when we have a, we hungry. When we are, yes, hungry. <laughs> it could be because we can see the big hamburger, right? Or uh, any type of combo right there. Maybe, yes. I think that for restaurants, billboard ads are really effective for restaurants, right? Mm -hmm. What about number six? Can you please read number six? Um, let me see. Read number six, Nelly, and give us your opinion. Um, cool. Colleen is of fashion and marketing and uh, wait, of time. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. In my case, uh, cool, Colleen. Uh, uh, they they really made me feel angry <laughs> and <laughs> okay and when somebody called me for um to offer something, something yes uh i love the number <laughs> Nelly, <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. Nelly. <laughs> okay yes i mean it is annoying it is annoying okay um, okay, guys, so cold calling is old-fashioned, okay? Mm, it depends on the type of business. It depends on the type of business, I think, right? But maybe it is old-fashioned, okay? So number seven, 
pay-per-click ads are the most effective form of advertising. The pay-per-click ads. Mm, the most effective? Do you think so? The pay-per-click ads? I think that no. Mm -mm. I think that now. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I think that I think that this that, that this is a waste of, of, of money. Me too. Mm. Yes, me too. But if they exist, maybe there is a reason, right? Maybe somebody is actually getting a lot of benefits. But mm, I don't know who, right? But there should be somebody. It depends yeah. the the, on, the, on the service or, mm -hmm. or the target. Maybe, uh, maybe in the in the in the target for boys or for teenagers. Maybe I I don't know it because I think that yes, maybe uh, uh, yes, yes. I think that yes. On that, uh, in that way or in that case, I think that yes could be effective. And the last one: classify ads in newspapers don't work anymore. What do you think about that? Do you buy the newspaper, first of all? Well, Nobody. No, not right now. But with my dad, with 80, 82 years old, yes. Yes. He, so. he preferred the news in the newspaper. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's a matter of generations, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, a, a different way to, to view classified in, in our time right now for me is mm -hmm. the the place the the um, the place in the marketplace in, in, Facebook. in Facebook. Or on Facebook, okay. I guess exactly. It is it is a um a different way to, to know or to buy a different options of, of product services and is more informed or with more information about the the service or the product to acquire and you can chat or can you can talk with the person that sells the service or sell the product and it's mm -hmm. more more easy to it's easier easier exactly easier to choose a best option correct that is correct i think that um that is going to be uh, like how we do it currently right and yes it is it depends on the on the generation but yes for, classify for, ads in... for certain group of older people correct i think that um older people that works for them but for us probably not that much right not that much but okay very good guys okay now uh, let me ask you the following, okay? In your own opinion, and I will ask, let me see. Okay, Jose, number one, can you please read it and give us your opinion? Uh, okay, teacher. Yes. What, what type of advertising is most effective for you? Um, for me, mm -hmm the pop-up ads because really? okay. uh yes and uh, or pre-roll that because you even though you don't want to watch them you always watch them because they appear on the screen <laughs> okay you cannot avoid them all right okay thank you um let me see is Raul Jordan here? Yes. Tell me. Okay. Yes. All right. So, Raul, can you please uh, tell us, uh, well, read the second question and give us your answer. Okay. What type of advertising is least, least effective for you? Why? Yes. Yes. Uh, it depends for me, but in my case, I think it's um, brochures. Uh, when when I go to the 
some place in a person a person me and give me that brochure, I don't even read it in my case. I mm -hmm. just give it in, in in a moment I threw up to the garbage and I don't I don't even see it in my case. I don't know from other people, but in my case I don't read it. Okay. Mm -hmm. In my case evenly I find kind of annoying. I don't like to okay. have a paper and read it. I don't know. Mm -hmm. My case. For me it's All right. like yes. Well, yeah, I, I think that it is one of the least effective. That is correct. Okay. And the last one. Um, can you please help us with the last one? Um, Emerson, what type of advertising do you dislike? I believe the dislikes is uh, pop-up apps and pre-rolls because <laughs> when I check the... The two face um, or networks appears mm -hmm. and dislike that. You dislike that. Okay. Okay. Yes. They are annoying, right? Annoying. Very good, guys. Okay. Perfect. All right. So now what we are going to do is that we are going to talk about what is product development? What is it? Yeah. So help us reading the definition, Atilio. What is product development? It's a series of steps that includes the conceptualization, 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 mm -hmm. this in developed and marketing of newly, newly, Created or newly re, okay. rebranded, rebranded good or services or services. Okay, very good. So, what is product development? So, as Atelio read before, is a series of steps that includes the conceptualization, design development and marketing of newly created or newly rebranded goods or services yeah basically is um to create a new product yeah with different stages the product development yeah so we're going to move to different things from the book, all right? And we have building vocabulary, yeah? How does a new product develop? Let's number the steps in order from one to eight, okay? So let's see, uh, we have product development, concept development and testing, business analysis, test marketing, idea screening, launch, commercialization, idea generation. Which are the steps that we need to follow? Okay, so we have the steps right here. Can you please help us reading the steps that we need to follow, Abigail? Um, is Abigail Bonilla here? No? Okay. Uh, Tony, can you please help us read in the information, the steps that we have? Okay. No problem, teacher. Mm. Number the steps in order from one to eight and yeah. then compare with a partner. Okay. Number one. Number one. Hmm. Okay. The the the, the this, this part. order. Okay. Yes. This order. Okay. The number one is the idea generation. Correct. The number two is idea screening. Yes. Number three, concept development and testing. Correct. Number four, business analysis. 
correct. Number five, product development. Excellent. Number six, test marketing. Perfect. Number seven, commercialization. Mm -hmm. and, and number eight, launch. Perfect. Okay, guys. So those are the steps. I mean, those are like the, the steps, right? But in a um, not organized way. And we have them in order right here. Yeah. So from one to eight. First, the idea generation. That's the first step. That is the first step. Number two, idea screening. Number three, concept development and testing. Number four, business analysis. Number five, product development. Number six, test marketing. Number seven, commercialization. And number eight, launch. That is the order that we need to follow. Yeah. Now let's talk about what is each of the steps, right? Because sometimes maybe we are kind of lost because maybe we are not experts on this matter, right? But we need to go ahead and learn um, like the definition for each step, yeah? As you may see right here, we have the information from the book. What is business analysis? What is test marketing? What is idea generation? What is launch? What is product development? What is concept development and testing? What is commercialization? What is idea screening? Yeah. Then we already have the information right here. Yeah. So let me ask you, what is business analysis, Carla? Mm, a careful design plan is important to make sure about the acceptance of the product. Excellent. So it is a plan, right? The design plan, the business analysis. What is test marketing, Emerson? Test marketing is in this stage. Recept has to be considered in order to ensure that product will be accepted. Correct. Uh, on this step, right, the research has to be conducted in order to be sure that the product will be accepted. The test marketing, of course, right? Yes. Now, what about number three? What is idea generation, uh, Tony? Mm. This is the first step, uh, a careful design plan. It's important to make sure about the acceptance of the product. Okay, and idea generation, what is it? Ah, okay, exactly. sorry, sorry, sorry. Don't worry, don't worry. It's the brainstorming. Correct, is what we were talking about with uh, Aleida yesterday, right? The brainstorming, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes, the idea generation. What about launch? What is the definition for launch, uh, Carla? Repeat. What is launch? Launch. Yes. It presents the model product to be appreci appreciated as a whole by the potential customer. Okay, launch, it presents the model product to be appreciated, okay? Appreciated as a whole, whole, con J, whole, okay? By the potential customer. What is product development? Yeah. Me, teacher. Yes. Once... Uh, once the product has been approved, it will be taken to the massive reproduce. Okay. Yes. So the product development is this. Once the product has been approved, it will be taken to the massively reproduced to be. Yeah. Correct. Okay. okay. What about number six? Concept development and testing. What is it? You have to ask for the customer opinion. Yes. 
Absolutely. Number seven, commercialization. Once the idea has been completed, the product must be taken to a location where customer can get it. Can get it. Uh -huh. And the last one, number eight, what is idea screening? Is a step guarantees that fa failing ideas be discarded immediately. Correct. Idea screening is very important. Very important. Because it guarantees that failing ideas uh, be discarded immediately, right? Uh -huh. The idea is screening. Okay, guys. Along this um, unit, unit one, we are going to be covering all these type of things about product development, okay? Right now, I'm going to take the attendance. Yes, so please say present once you hear your name. Um, give me one second. Okay. Aleida Esmeralda Amaya. Here, teacher. Thank you. Atilio Ernesto Castillo. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Carlos Omar Linares. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Daisy Elizabeth. Present, Rossi. teacher. Present, teacher. Thank you, Carlos. And thank you, Daisy. Eduardo Franco Nunez. Eduardo? No. Um, Emerson Ulises Monroy? Present, Miss. Thank you. Jonathan Jose Gonzalez Dominguez? Present, teacher. Thank you. Jorge Antonio Sanchez Quiñones? Present, teacher. Thank you. Jose Bernardo Lopez Montes? Present, teacher. Thank you. Juan Antonio Elias Flores? Present, teacher. Thank you. Juan José Herrera, Herrera Alvarenga. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carla Sofía Argueta Chévez. Present. Thank you. Kenia Elizabeth Rodríguez Zelaya. Kenia. Luis Miguel Corbera Enríquez. Luis Miguel. Let me see. Teacher. Ah, uh, uh, yes, Kenia. That's true. Okay. Uh, Luis Miguel. No, but he was here. Okay. Um, Marianne Scarlett Rodriguez. Marianne. No. Uh, Mauricio Antonio Velasquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Nelly Libet Andrade Garcia. Present. Thank you, Pablo Adalberto Abrego. Present. Thank you, Raúl Antonio Jordán Miranda. Present. Thank you, Roberto Esaú Celaya Argumedo. Present. Thank you. Sandra Abigail Bonilla Cano. Sandra. Tatiana Ivón Torres de Beltrán. Present. Thank you. Wendy Maricela Ramírez Guevara. Wendy Maricela and Wilbur Jonathan Bautista. Yeah, I saw Wilbur, but he's not here. Okay. Sure. Yes. I'm here. I have problems with the internet. Oh, you Louis, okay. Louis. Louis, Louis, got it. Okay, guys, let's do something before moving on to the next activity, which is um you working as a team. We are going to take the first quiz. We are going to take the first quiz. So the first quiz won't be the listening, okay? No, it is going to be the sentence order quiz. Sentence order quiz. Para los que están en la spreadsheet, sentence order quiz. Para los que no están ahí, there you go, here on the meeting chat. And the passcode um, vocabulary will be vocabulary. Para los que no subieron ayer, ok, recordemos, le va a presentar esa pantalla y usted tiene que poner su nombre completo y el passcode es la contraseña. ¿Cuál es la contraseña? 
vocabulary in capital letters. Letras mayúsculas. Si pone minúscula, no le va a aceptar el código. Ok. This one is about word order. It's about how you think in English. Tiene que escribir usted. Le va a presentar una serie de oraciones que están desordenadas y usted las tiene que ordenar para crear la oración correcta. Ok. Let's take that quiz, guys. We are going to have, I think that we are going to have around um, 10 minutes, okay? Okay. If you have questions, please ask me, okay? Teacher, the number three yes. uh, needs one slash between ants and brothers. Is correct? Mm, number three, let me see. Uh, no, I mean, when you are typing, you don't need to add the slash. But let me no, see what you mean. But, but the separation between ant and brother is necessary. Uh, I mm. think that... It, it depends, but um, type it the way that you think that it is. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we have to put the point at the end of the very good the yes sentence. yes okay yes please um for the ones that we're having issues with the internet we are taking the quiz okay lo voy a reenviar i'm going to resend it para los que tal vez tenían problemas con el internet en el chat yeah Thank you. 
Okay, guys, so I got some of you. Let me see. Uh, Teacher, I follow all the answer because I don't put the final point. 
The period, yes. Period. Yes. You have, you have zero. Let me see. Okay. Okay, guys. So um, let me see. Yeah, I, I think that you, most of you finish. Okay. Some of you are still, let me see. I have two, uh, Val, but one was because when I wrote Doris, the autocorrector of the telephone said, Doses. Doses. Yeah. That is true. Yeah. Teacher, also in my case, you can see it, the answers are the same of the, the, the question that I made. The sentence that I made, I don't know why they are incorrect. Maybe yes. in, in one, I I forgot to put R, but in other ones, I have the same. Yes. Um, I don't know why the system put me. Mm -hmm. Yes, the reason um, is basically, Raul, because you didn't add the period at the end. <laughs> Yes. So, um, yeah. In in um, <laughs> yes. In English, we need to add period every time that you finish a sentence. You must add the period at the end. Okay. But yes, I can see that I you understand. have all of them correct, but just because of the period, okay. <laughs> but okay. okay. Don't Thanks. worry. Okay. Okay, guys. Um. Very good. Yes, I can see that some of you got um, 90, right? 80s. It is good, guys. Okay. I think that this helps you to, to go ahead and try to see how to create um, different sentences, right? To, to arrange the ideas in your brain. You exercise your brain. Okay. So now let's move and now, yes, let's move to the activity, okay? Because we need to continue so you can go ahead and share it uh, with your classmates. Let me show my screen. Okay, so what I need to do is the following, yes? So we are going to divide the class into different themes, yes? So what we need to do is that each team is going to have one, um, one of these uh, terms, okay? And you need to find the definition. And then you need to explain to the class what is each term, what it refers about, yes? We have the prototype, the target audience, the manufacturing, and the positioning. But not only to give me the definition, I need you to please give me some examples, yes, of prototype, some examples of target audience, some examples of manufacturing, some examples of positioning, yes? So we're going to work on this once you finish with this, because this won't take a lot, because it's just uh, you need to go to the internet, right? You need to look for the term, the definition, and you are going to have your uh, your classmates. So some of you can look for the term and the other ones for the examples, yes? Then once you finish with that, we are going to move to this activity, okay? Group work. So it says, brainstorm ideas for a new product. What I need to do is that I need to create an idea of a new product, something that you would like to sell, something new, yes? Um, related to your company, um, you decide. You decide if you want to do that, and if not, you can go ahead and choose whatever you want. Use your creativity, right, your imagination. And then what I need to do is that you are going to discuss the characteristics of the target market, 
Yeah, what, who is your target market? Yeah, why would they be interested in your new product? Yeah, and then develop a basic concept to describe your new product. Basically, guys, you are going to create um, like the idea first. If you want to probably sell a new computer with different type of options that we don't have right now, use your creativity, guys. Yeah. Then what I need to look is for your target market. Who is your target market? Who? Yeah. And explain why they will be your target market. Yeah. And then why um, you are going to just develop a basic concept to describe your new product, the quality right, of your new product, why it's not the same as the other ones, etc. Yes, I'll give you around 10 minutes in order for you to work on those activities, both of them. Okay. Yeah. Do you have any question? Now I'm going to give you your time. Okay. So we have five teams. Yes, Abigail Bonilla, Pablo, Tatiana Ivonne, and Tony Elias, you are team one. So that means that you are going to talk about prototype. Then room two, Carlos Omar, Carla Sofia, Mariam, and Mar Mauricio Antonio. Target audience. <laughs> yes, target audience. Room three. Daisy Elizabeth, Jose Bernardo, Kenya Elizabeth, Nelly, Roberto Esaú. So manufacturing, yeah? And then Aleida Amaya, Aleida Amaya, um, Emerson Ulises, Juan Jose, and Raul Jordan, you are going to talk about positioning. And room five, because we have five teams, Atilio, Carlos Vladimir, Jonathan Gonzalez, and Jorge Antonio, you are going to talk about prototype, yeah? So if you cannot join the room, I'm going to switch, right? I'm going to change, but I hope you all can join the room, okay? So here we go. Do you have any question before we go to the breakout rooms? Any doubt about the things that we are going to do? Sure, I have a question. Yes. Um, if we're going to develop a new product yes. in, in, my, in my group, only yes. we, we're going to talk about the prototype or we need to make all the process and then make the, the prototype. No. Just uh, first of all, what I need to do is just the definition of this. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Yes, just a definition and one example, right? In order for mm, us to yeah. understand okay, the okay, definition. Okay, okay. okay. And then, only the definition. Okay. Yes, exactly. Any other doubt? And then uh, we're going to make the, the second part, the number the seven. The second, yes. Okay, okay. Correct. Okay. Nobody else? Okay, let's go. Okay. Well, I have the song sample for the definition. For okay. Hello. Hello. Audience. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. 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 Audience. Is the specific group was called consumers most likely to want your product or service. Huh? Yes, Example. 
Dice que carga audience de particular group of people with a diversity products website online form direct. Is it what? What? This is particular. Un ejemplo, please. Vaya, los ejemplos son los, por ejemplo, ahí se lo dicen, que es radio, un programa de radio, una de televisión, un sitio web. Es un ser ejemplo de estar en la meta. La, la meta de la audiencia que podemos tener nosotros ¿están de acuerdo? promotion yes but uh, promotion de por ejemplo for promotion Vaya, maybe un likely rock sí. if un I oh. Un target audio es como el compañero tiene un rótulo en la parte de atrás que no está transmitiendo a nosotros una publicidad. Mm, I think if, uh, no, yo creo que es como buscar una, por ejemplo, si vendemos cosas para ropa juvenil, nuestro target es, son los jóvenes. Jóvenes, sí. Yes. Okay. In English. <laughs> In English, okay. So English. El, the, the target <laughs> audience is the public objective. A quién va dirigido el producto. Uh -huh. Okay. Entonces, for a los jóvenes. Yes, and you can uh, give an example, right? As Carla says, she gave an example. Mm -hmm. Is uh, it? For example, and uh, it buys uh, the Game Boy, uh, is a product, but a uh, child. For oh. kids, right? For, for probably kids, for teenagers. Kids. Uh -huh. yeah. Yes. I mentioned. Uh, Mention the other product. It's the game the cable. Mm -hmm. This maybe people join to promotion. Mm -hmm. Pero que venderíamos, Carlita. Ah, no, ahorita solo es como el ejemplo, ¿verdad? Yes. No, sir. Es cualquier ejemplo. Es el producto, es el toy for kids. Yes. Ah, for kids. Ah, ¿qué, mm. ¿Qué otro producto de ejemplo podríamos tomar? Mm. What other eh, example? Clothes for baby, for mother. For moms, right? Moms, For pregnant, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. For baby. Para bebé. For baby. Yeah. And here's babies. Bye. Um. Okay. And... Uh, luego va el producto, ¿va? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. Group work. Head two. ¿Es el nombre del grupo o cómo? Yes. So
pongámosle puede ser cualquier G G <ríe> no sé de sorry de qué qué podríamos vender ah uh, en bebés no, no esto sell vender sell ah uh, vender ah no. uh, Bodleys, baby bodleys, call me brushes. Oh, or no. Um, Gerber. <laughs> Gerber, Gerber. Gerber. Yeah, it's a baby in the the old people. Maybe maybe people seventy years. Yeah, maybe. Producto que se vende para bebé Herbert y también para cierto ancianos que le dan de eso. Exactly, exactly. Es para eso podría ir dirigido. Yeah. Um, for baby. Um, every, every place. Yes, yes, and they have a different present. Uh, it's a better uh, make the 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 prototype in. Do you have any question? Are you good? Uh, yes. Okay. Teacher, uh, just a question. Yes. Uh, we only look for the definition about the prototype. And only and we need a uh, give example, right? Yes. Just that. That's it. That's and then true. you move to the other activity where you need to um, just think about a new product, right? That you would like to sell. Yes. And okay. then the new product, the target market. Who is your target market? Yes. And we then need to create a new product. Yes. Just mention a new product that you would like to sell. Right. Oh, okay. Yes. And then a target market, for example. OK, let me give you an example. OK, uh, it could be um, a service. It could be a service, for example, a relaxation therapy. Yeah. Yeah. Relaxation therapies. The target market, maybe people that work in call centers, factories. Mm, adults, adults. The target market will be adults for me, right? People that are really stressed out because those are relaxation therapies, yeah? Uh, and then you are going to describe your new product, right? For example, this therapy consists in um, one hour of uh, relaxation techniques, right? And you are going to have different type of promotions every single month if you work in call centers and factories, right? And if you are above 30 years old, for example. Okay. Yeah. We need to create any, uh, any product, uh, whatever we want. Whatever you want. Okay. Yes, whatever you want. Yeah. To have a nutritional supplement mm -hmm. containing yeah. uh, multivitamins for babies. Uh, ah, yeah. no sé si les parece, Mauricio, que contenga una buena presentación o que sea llamativa la presentación. Y, eh, 
in a good price. One precio. Yeah. Uh, y también la presentación influye. Y presentation. Exactly. Y presentation. 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 Yeah. That good has a good presentation. Correct. Uh, que sea buena calidad. Mm. Discurso de carácter. Calidad. Bien, yeah, no, good one. ¿Cómo le puse el precio, Mauricio? ¿Dónde está el ah. precio? De lo de precio eh, que dijo, de la, del nuevo producto. Bajo precio, es, 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 es low price. No. Ah, no. No, 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 bajo sí, precio es low cost o low oh, price. Oh, Pero en este caso, low, low cost. Cost, cost, teacher. Low. ST, al final. Low cost, ST. Cost. Yes. Cost. Oh. High quality, ¿verdad? High quality. Mm -hmm. Y el pan. The other one. El asorti. No, hay otro. No hay otro. ¿Cuál otro? ¿Cuál otro, Carla? Tenemos la... Sí. Sí. Creo que nos faltamos el discurso de características. ¿Ah? Ah, sí. Yes. De, de target market. Um, teenagers, adults, kids, adults, and new parents. Okay. <laughs> and describe ages. For example, from 18 mm -hmm. to 50 years old. I don't know. Adults, parents, teenagers, wow. uh, 24. <laughs> okay, from from 18 yeah. to 27 years old? Uh, or from 27? No, since 27 till como la que ya están como queriendo familia. Um, okay, let me see. Mm -hmm. Entre 25 y 35, 40, no sé. Maybe from 27 till 38. 27, 38. Uh -huh. From 27, acuérdense que es from. From 27 to? From 27 to 38. 38. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. This is an example of, of a machine, but it's a, a, a prototype. Um, like the, uh, the mold, the mold, uh, uh, tortilla. tortilla. The, <laughs> it's a machine <laughs> that, that makes tortillas. That made tortillas. Uh -huh. 200 tortillas in 60 seconds. Uh, uh, in in the in in a feria. Feria is a. Let me see how do you say this word in English. A fair, uh -huh. uh, a trade fair, a trade fair. I I saw this this. Um, Tortilla machine, and the the manufacturer um, uh, say that it's possible that make two uh, the the double of of tortillas in the same time. Uh, in other words, is four hundred tortillas in sixty seconds. It's a is a I don't know if this is a Guinness record, but this is a a good a good production of tortillas. 
Um, and you can do the different type of tortillas, like Mexican, like like Guatemaltecas, that is more uh, between the, the tacos and, and the tortillas, uh, Salvadorian tortillas, and, and, and Salvadorian tortillas too. Um, it depends the, the the size of the tortilla and the and the height or, or the the grosor weight eight or weight no eight grosor grosor is like gros, the, and width the, width the width the width of the tortilla mm -hmm. and the most easy tortillas that that the machines make is the the Mexican tortillas and and the nachos too uh, is more is then when this is smaller the tortillas is more easy to the machine to produce easier easier it's mm -hmm. easier easier exactly thank you um this is a prototype of of uh of, um, of the machine uh, um, the manufacturer say that is the the third the third um, prototype that he he built, but but uh, uh, he needed sponsors to make the to make the production of this uh, the tortilla machine. Um, teacher, yes. we talk about the the definition of uh, the prototype and. And our word is a uh, third sample of a problem, not yet finalized. Uh, that is a model that allows to verify if the complies with the characteristics or, of use or manufacture. Exactly. That is the prototype. That is correct. Mm -hmm. Yes. A, a singular example is a Robocop. Robocop is an example of the policeman in the future. Is it is a, yes, it is a prototype, right? That serves as a model to create more robots, right? Mm -hmm, exactly. Yes, that is correct. Sometimes, guys, um, when you are also um in your company, I, I'm not sure. It, well, I'm pretty sure that maybe nobody belongs to the marketing department. I'm not sure, but let's say that if you are in the marketing department, sometimes you request um agendas for the whole company then sometimes you need a prototype because you want to see how the agenda is going to look at the end so the company creates the prototype of the agenda and they carry the agenda right they bring it to you and you say okay yeah i like it then go ahead and continue with the process that one is a simple one, right? Agendas. Uh, most of the time when companies request uh, like this type of things, uh, sometimes um, polo t-shirts, right, as well, they they do require the prototype to see how the final product will be, if it is important. But if those are just t-shirts, sometimes not, right? But if those require a lot of budget, yes, they do require prototypes. Yes. Okay. 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 That could be another example. Okay. Very good. Are you almost done? The first part, yes. Yes. Okay. Let's continue okay. with the with the second one, right? Okay. Great. Yeah. The laptop is free idea for an improve. Yes, I... ya, ya lo dijimos, pero. Sí. Yeah, es... Ya tenemos. A... Esa es Carlita. Sí, la discuss the characteristics. Mi igual, pítame. Es... Solo es se copio. Esa es la. What? Para 27 y 38 años. Uh -huh. Ah, la leche de bebé. No. No. Oh, es la bebé. Es la este que va a comprar. No. <risa> <risa> es que vaya. El target market 
es la gente que va a comprar nuestro producto y lo que va a comprar son los papás. Uh -huh. ah. Sí, 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 la razón. Entonces, De modo que el niño ande comprando leche. Ya la entendí. Right. Um, what? Y en la white wall, no sé si está bien. Puse esto. Me dice: no. Why would they be oh, interested in your product? Um. Babies. Voy a volver a empezar a escribir esto de ordinario. Voy a poner. With supplement. Nutritional supplement. Here are the resident and start the world to develop. Ah, es la última. Esta sería la última para sí. nosotros. The progress for the baby head coach. No, no sé si está bien la última parte. What? Sí, What? Sé. Develop the basic concept to describe your new product. The product is for help babies and cause for parents. Siento que se oye raro. Because if Para the baby have a good health. El concepto básico podríamos poner como... Un bebé sano. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What do you uh -huh. say? Good health. <laughs> um, for babe, health baby. For healthy. 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 healthy kids, healthy babies. Healthy. A healthy baby. ¿Cuál es el, el concepto que tenemos que usar? Be healthy. A healthy baby. Okay. Esta era la última. And we be healthy. We be healthy baby. Be healthy baby. Ya tenemos el 10 ahí. Y ahí. Okay. ¿Te anima, Carlita? Vaya, ahí se lo copié. Ok, ¿ready? Ready. Ready. Ok, let me see. Let me see the other breaker rooms. Ok, give me one second. Okay. <laughs> Homemade solar panel. Okay, this is the first idea. Homemade. Okay. The another one is. Uh, the target is everybody uh, who has. Pets. has a pet. Yeah. Because if you don't have a pet, you don't need it. Yes. In that case, I think. Uh, but it's going to work. Even it's a cat or a dog, right? Yes. For both uh -huh. of them. For both of them, yeah. Okay. okay. Are you ready? 
Now we, we already <laughs> we, 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 are we only have the definition, we have the the product example, and then the second exercise, we only have the 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 brainstorm. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yes. Let me see. Okay, don't worry. Let's go back to the main room because uh, we need to still complete the listening quiz, okay? Let's go back. Okay, yes. teacher. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Okay. All right. So let's see. Um, do we have? Yes, I think that we already have some of the first. Let me see. Prototype. No. Okay, guys. All right. Um, because of the time, we won't be able to finish that activity today. Okay, so I'm going to ask. I have already uh, taken notes about the teams. Tomorrow, I'm going to ask. Okay, that will be the first activity that we are going to uh, continue. That means that we are going to express our ideas, the ones that you already discussed today. Right now, let's move and let's go ahead and complete the listening quiz before we go, okay? We need to take the listening quiz. So there you go. That one is the link. If you are on the spreadsheet, you can click on the one that says listening quiz two, which is the access code is going to be listening with capital letters, listening, yes? Once again, that one is the link for the listening quiz for today, which is going to be the access code is listening, okay? Tomorrow at the beginning of the class, I'm going to ask about um, your opinions, okay? And about the, the, the activity that we were developing. Yes, I'm pretty sure that most of you already finished. So tomorrow I'm going to ask um to one of your team members okay all right so here we go are you ready i'm going to play this recording um two times only two times so pay attention okay here okay. we go here we go hello everyone have you ever wondered what the weather is like in other places around the world today i'd like to talk to you about the changing seasons in my city which was the assigned topic for this class. First of all, the winter season usually begins in December and ends in early March. The coldest month is January, and the temperatures can drop below freezing for most of this month. The city usually averages about 30 inches of snow during this entire three-month period. Occasionally, we have snowstorms that can drop a foot of snow in a very short period of time. Winter activities during the season include sledding, skiing, and snowshoeing. Spring usually arrives in late March, and the temperatures hover around 50 degrees during the day. It is a beautiful season because the flowers start to bloom. It is also sometimes windy, and this is great for flying kites. People in my city often like to go on picnics, stroll through the parks, and play outdoor games. Next, summer starts in June as temperatures slowly rise to around 80 degrees. The summer in my city is very dry with little rain throughout the season and temperatures can soar above 100 degrees in August. Fortunately, the weather is very dry with low humidity, so it is pleasant even on hot days. Popular activities during this season include hiking, fishing, camping, water skiing, and outdoor sports including football and soccer. And finally, summer changes to fall in late September when the weather cools off. 
and the trees began to change colors. A lot of people enjoy driving into the mountains and viewing the fall colors. It is also a time when people clean up their yards and gardens in preparation for the winter season. So, as you can see, my city has a lot to offer, no matter when you visit this area. Okay, here we go with the last time. Okay. Hello, everyone. Have you ever wondered what the weather is like in other places around the world? Today, I'd like to talk to you about the changing seasons in my city, which was the assigned topic for this class. First of all, the winter season usually begins in December and ends in early March. The coldest month is January, and the temperatures can drop below freezing for most of this month. The city usually averages about 30 inches of snow during this entire three-month period. Occasionally, we have snowstorms that can drop a foot of snow in a very short period of time. Winter activities during the season include sledding, skiing, and snowshoeing. Spring usually arrives in late March, and the temperatures hover around 50 degrees during the day. It is a beautiful season because the flowers start to bloom. It is also sometimes windy, and this is great for flying kites. People in my city often like to go on picnics, stroll through the parks, and play outdoor games. Next, summer starts in June as temperatures slowly rise to around 80 degrees. The summer in my city is very dry, with little rain throughout the season, and temperatures can soar above 100 degrees in August. Fortunately, the weather is very dry with low humidity, so it is pleasant even on hot days. Popular activities during this season include hiking, fishing, camping, water skiing, and outdoor sports, including football and soccer. And finally, summer changes to fall in late September when the weather cools off and the trees begin to change colors. A lot of people enjoy driving into the mountains and viewing the fall colors. It is also a time when people clean up their yards and gardens in preparation for the winter season. So, as you can see, my city has a lot to offer, no matter when you visit this area. Okay. All right, guys. So please submit your answers. Yeah, let me check your scores. Okay, I go Aleida, I go Carlos. Okay, perfect. Okay, excellent. I can see that. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Was it difficult? Yes, for me, for me, yes. Yes, yes. It was kind of difficult, guys, but very good. Okay, well done. I can see that some of you got um, 100, okay, some of you 80s, but don't worry, you are going to be improving, okay, through the course. All right, guys. So right now we are going to stop right here. The only person that please stay with me, Atilio. Okay, Atilio, please stay with me. Then the other ones, thank, thank you very much for joining today. Thank you very much for being responsible. And I will see you back tomorrow. Okay, guys? I hope you have a good thank night. Thank you. Good night. Okay, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye, Thanks. Emerson. Take care. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Okay. Okay, Atilio. So let's see. Um, well, yes. Um, we would like to know about you, Atilio. Okay. Um, this is our first time together. Okay. So we are really happy that you are here. Okay. Welcome once again. Okay. Um, we would like to know about you. I would like to know how long have you been learning English? right? If you have taken all of the modules with us or if you have studied in a different place, right? Yes. Okay. So tell me about you. Yeah. How long have you been learning English? How many oh. years? How many years? Yes. Um, I don't know. 
You don't know? Okay. No. Okay. So, Atilio, um, did you study basic uh, one, two, three, four, five, six with English corporativo or no? Yes, uh, one, two, three, four, five. And and intermediate yes. one, intermediate one. Intermediate one is um. Speak Spanish, teacher. Okay. Eh, eh, es que he tenido el, estos dos módulos anteriores que casi of, no los he recibido eh, eh, en casa. No los he recibido en driving. Um, okay. Entonces, eh, me he retrocedido y hay cosas que las, las, las he olvidado. Pues, y no he tenido el tiempo para poderme poner al día. Okay, Pero, sí, 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 recibí el, 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 todo el, el, el básico, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, y el intermedio número uno. Ok, Atili. Um, muy bien. Um, ¿Cuál es el área más difícil para usted en el idioma eh, inglés? Eh, ahorita lo que he tenido más difícil es que no puedo entablar la conversación. O sea, algunas veces sí sé que, que estamos hablando pero no le puedo contestar fluido, o sea, tengo que buscar y en eso ya no, ya no la puedo terminar de, de entablar la conversación. Uh -huh. Ok, Atilio, vaya, mire, eh, en ese caso, pues, eh, lo que usted debe de hacer es retarse, ¿sí? Es retarse okay. porque en realidad, si no nos retamos, entonces no podemos avanzar, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, sí. Entonces, eh, bien, le voy a hacer preguntas eh, que quiero que me las responda y trate de respondérmelas en inglés, ¿ok? Ok, ok. Ok, Atilio, do you have any hobby? Uh, yes, I play soccer. Ok, ok. Do you work from home or do you go to the office? No, do you work uh, on home? No, I no. Work Um, how do you say? Oh, okay. Um, fields and work and fields, campo. Eh? Oh, okay, in the countryside, yes, or in the field. I mean, okay, en, en el campo o en el o en el campo de de trabajo. I mean. No, 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 en el campo, o sea, que nosotros somos de, de tanto de afuera como de dentro, pero dentro de zonas. Countryside. A countryside, yes. Ok, got it, ok, very good. Ok, so tell me what, uh, what do you do every day? Describe your typical day. Repeat. Yes. Can you tell Repeat. me? Yes. Can you tell me what do you do every day? Every day. Yes. Um, what do you do? Tell me some activities. Tell me some activities that you um, do. Um. Uh. Six. Six. Um. Uh, six. Thirty. I am. Uh -huh. Um. Meeting, um. And distributed. Um. Oh. Of the product? Not, no. uh, not. Um, um, meeting, um, bigger, uh, oh, no, um, sería Church Market. Um, and, okay. ¿Cómo se dice competencia? ¿Competencia? Um, uh, competition? Competition. Um, and product, uh -huh. um, people. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, okay. And do you work on weekends? Not. No? Not. Okay. And can you tell me, um, okay, so tell me what did you do? Yesterday. 
Tell me two things that you did yesterday. Um, yesterday. Uh, daily routines. What did you do? What did you do yesterday? Okay, so what did you do? Yes, and then this routine. Equal. Um, um, today. Um, uh -huh. Um, uh, Beijing class English. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. okay. Um, sleep. <laughs> I slept. <laughs> yes. Okay. I slept. I slept. I slept. I slept. I slept. I slept. Uh, Okay. Much. Oh, a lot more sleep. A lot. I slept a lot. Uh, I slept a lot. Yes. Oh my God, Atilio. Okay. Okay. Okay, Atilio. Now, let me ask you, okay? Le voy a preguntar en español. ¿Qué mm -hmm. le ha parecido nuestras clases hasta el momento? A pesar que hemos tenido dos clases, pero ¿cómo ve la dinámica de la clase? ¿Cómo la eh, ve? ¿Cómo se teacher. siente? Teacher, súper, está mejor que, que, que los otros teachers porque algunas veces como que o, o tengo como la oportunidad de, 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 de expresarme con usted, o sea, me ha dado la confianza, siento yo que, que da eso para estar así hablando. Okay. Ah, como le digo, ah, eh, eh, ya llevo un año prácticamente y, y solo hemos hecho seis, seis módulos. Sí. Y, y es que eso de estar parando y comenzando, creo que es lo que no me, no me ha terminado de, de, de encajar. Y aparte que el mismo trabajo, como le digo, nosotros tenemos nuestra rutina del día es entrar, llegamos al distribuidor porque trabajamos a través de otros, hacer que ellos hagan lo que nosotros digamos, eh, ir al campo, validar, eh, eh, tratar con clientes. Eh, resolverle al cliente, resolverle a nuestro propio personal eh, sí. y pues, ¿qué le puedo decir? O sea, son, son un montón de actividades que al final no las hemos no, yo en mi, lo personal o sea, eh, veo aquí que to, casi todos los compañeros tienen más fluido el, el, el idioma sí. dentro de ellos están unos aquí, Tony eh, ex, eh, era mi ex manager ok eh, eh, Luis que somos compañeros, ¿verdad? entonces ellos como ya van más adelantado, pero ellos ya hablaban, yo es mi primera experiencia con inglés, teacher. y okay. aparte como le digo que no he tenido la oportunidad de, de sentarme pero sí necesito y quiero hablarlo, me lo he puesto de este objetivo que, a, que al finalizar este otro módulo yo ya entablé estas conversaciones en inglés con usted, como le digo, lo entiendo pero no lo puedo entablar Ok, vaya. Muy bien, mire, lo felicito porque en realidad tiene la disposición de aprender y creo que eh, lo más importante siempre va a ser la disposición porque si solamente decimos sí quiero pero mm, no participo, ¿verdad? Etcétera, entonces estamos eh, como que no estamos en sintonía. De eso, de eso sí, despreocúpese que yo o sea, que no conozca lo digo. Sí, Atilio, y eso me he fijado, ¿ok? Y le quiero felicitar porque en realidad usted participa, ¿ok? Entonces siga haciéndolo porque eh, tal vez en ese momento no vea el progreso, pero lo va a ver a largo plazo cuando usted ya diga, ok, ya no me da miedo participar, yo participo, yo hablo y todas esas frases que usted dice se la van a ir quedando. Ok, entonces tiene que participar lo más que pueda, lo más que pueda. Cuando tal vez preguntemos acerca de algo, de un, una pregunta que tengamos ahí, si usted no sabe qué estamos preguntando, use el traductor. Y no, cuando no sé. usted ya tenga la, la idea, traduzca su respuesta y ya léala. Y dígamela. ¿Eh? Yo, yo, por lo general, he estado bastante ocupando el traductor. No lo ocupaba, pero eh, que dos módulos anteriores empecé a ocuparlo bastante. Muy bien. Y como usted dice, me ha ayudado mucho porque eh, hay palabras que no las conozco y cuando las, las escribo, me las traduce y ya entiendo más o menos por dónde va lo, lo, lo que me, me había quedado como pendiente, ¿verdad? Sí. 
Entonces, pero sí, como le digo, sí necesito y quiero, quiero aprenderlo porque sí, ya es un reto para mí, como usted dice. Ya me lo había retado antes. <ríe> Vaya, pero le felicito porque tiene la actitud. Entonces, el siguiente paso es que me eh, participe lo más que pueda durante nuestra clase. ¿sí? Recuerde que eh, lo único que podemos hacer es corregirlo, ¿verdad? No es que le vamos a decir algo más, no, es corregir. Entonces, eh, No, y a mí me gusta que me corrijan, porque al final en la corrección está la, la, la el perfección, aprendizaje, pues, o sea, al fin, correcto. el Entonces, aprendizaje correcto. correcto. Bien, entonces, en este caso, Atilio, eh, lo felicito, ok, sigamos así, metámosle de verdad, pues, eh, al inglés, ¿verdad? Esas dos horas que tenemos, siempre enfocado, ¿verdad? Enfocado, y tratemos de participar lo más que podamos, y pues, eh, vamos a hacer lo posible para que al final de este módulo usted ya tenga una fluidez un poquito eh, mejor que la que ya tiene. Entonces, para que usted se sienta un poco más en confianza en intermedio 3, Porque los módulos van avanzando y pues eh, es se correcto, va haciendo un poquito es más correcto, complejo. Uh -huh. es correcto y lo he sentido, o sea, ya lo sentía a, 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 a módulo anterior, pero, ¿qué le puedo decir? Un 80% lo pasé de oyente, o sea, lo, no lo dejé de, de conectar por el aspecto de que no, recuérdese que si usted falla, uh, ya, no, ya no acepta el programa, ¿verdad? Sí. Entonces, este, le decía, I teach I am driving, uh, I will be listening. Y así pues sí, todo, todo, un 80% de la, de, del módulo. Sí. Entonces sentí como que se me escapó y el anterior igual, o sea, y así he venido. Entonces, pero sí necesito ponerme al día porque si lo, la mayoría de mis compañeros uf, hablan bien, pues, ¿verdad? Sí. Eh, le quería pedir que si me podía recomendar algo adicional donde yo pudiese... Uh, como eh, empezar a, a mejorar o, o a conocer más vocabulario o esa es, esa es la parte que más me, me está costando o sea necesito tener como de dónde y qué practicar Vaya, fíjese de que lo que yo le puedo recomendar es que eh, le, voy a, le voy a enviar esta, este link, mire, de esta página. Entonces, en esta página, usted lo que va a poder observar son diferentes audios, que de hecho de aquí sacamos los exámenes que hacemos nosotros. Entonces, en la clase, ¿verdad? En la clase mía, que hacemos la, las prácticas, vaya. Ok. Ok. Entonces, ¿qué va a hacer en esta página? Le voy a enseñar mi pantalla para que usted pueda ver. Vaya, ¿qué va a hacer en esta página? Fíjese bien. Lo que va a hacer es que usted se va a ir aquí donde dice Listening Activities. ¿Sí? Entonces, cuando usted se vaya, le va a dar niveles. ¿Sí? Okay. Entonces, para comenzar, vamos a irnos al Easy. El cual es fácil. Entonces, aquí le va a salir una lista de audios. Mire, de diferentes situaciones. Mire. Correcto. Entonces le va, va en orden, no hay prisa. Entonces a Correcto. day at school, le da clic y le va a salir el audio y le van a salir las preguntas. Ándale, está fácil. Ahora, si usted quiere, no quiere hacer las preguntas porque ese es el examen, aquí usted puede escuchar el audio y hacer el examen al mismo tiempo. Pero si en ese caso usted dice, no, yo no quiero hacer el examen, yo lo que quiero es obtener más vocabulario y poder hablar mejor. Entonces, le va, se va a ir hasta abajo, fíjese bien, le va, se va a ir hasta abajo, va a di dirigirse donde dice, see listening transcript. Okay. Ahí, le da clic y cuando usted le dé clic en este apartado, le va a salir el diálogo. Entonces, de esta manera usted lo puede Ah, escuchar lo, lo, lo repito, y lo puede vale. leer, correcto, para que vaya comprendiendo qué va diciendo, ¿verdad? Ok. Ajá. Y lo puede ir viendo y cuando usted encuentre algo que no comprende, lo pausa, se va al diccionario, lo busca, ah, ok, dice esto, Ok. ¿sí? Entonces, ese es como un tip que yo le puedo dar y haga uno cada noche antes de dormirse. Si usted se fija, estos audios son de un minuto y medio, dos minutos lo máximo. Eso es muy rápido. Ok, ajá, son muy rápidos. Entonces, por eso mismo, en este caso, lo que usted tiene que hacer es 
leerlo. Hasta ah, okay. que su oído se acostumbre a la fluidez con que usted está escuchando los audios. Sí, porque, porque miren, no, es no, no, correcto, no, no, mire, no soy tan así como que, eh, ay, me, eh, soy bien, bien, me gusta aprender, pero me ha costado porque es mi primera experiencia, toda la vida pensé en aprender, pero nunca, lo, nunca tuve la oportunidad, sí. y hoy sí, sí, sí quiero, quiero, quiero hablarlo, y sí le he puesto interés, porque si sí, yo hay cosas que, es más, cuando van los gringos hablando, me les, me les pego atrás y escucho que van hablando. Para... Muy bien. Esas son, son, eh, son como eh, técnicas que usted mismo pues está tratando, ¿verdad? Entonces, Correcto. yo lo felicito, lo felicito mucho y no pierda esa motivación. Es lo que tal vez le puedo aconsejar. No pierda esa motivación porque la motivación lo va a ayudar a dar más. ¿verdad? No, es correcto. Yo, yo quiero, como le digo, o sea, eh, 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 he tenido bastantes experiencias donde yo eh, no, sé, no, no sé nada y cuando vengo a ver, sí, ya, ya tengo bastante detalles que, como, como dice usted, tal vez no los mismos, tal vez no al 100, pero bastante arriba de donde yo conozco. Okay. Como, como le digo, ahorita yo ya entiendo bastante, pero no lo puedo amarrar. No, 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 hay cosas que no, no las puedo amarrar, pero es por lo mismo que no he tenido como una práctica, quizás, ¿verdad? Sí, correcto, eso es más que todo la práctica que tal vez no la ha tenido al 100%. Entonces, no. bien, en este caso, Atilio, no se preocupe, esperemos que al finalizar nuestro módulo usted pues diga, he aprendido, mejoré, ¿ok? Que ese sea sí. nuestro objetivo, ¿ok? Y desde ayer, la primera clase con usted, he sentido esa parte, va que oh, siento que que sí, da esa pauta para tener primero el más interés en, en estar pendiente porque la verdad sí quiero aprender ¿va? Sí. y la otra es que va con esa, esa forma de que lo involucra y esa parte lo hace que, que, que uno tenga ese interés de seguir, de seguir y seguir ok, ¿va? bueno uh -huh. Entonces, eh, me alegra mucho que, le, eh, que nuestras clases le gusten, ¿verdad? Eh, mm. Nuestro compromiso, más que todo, pues es que el alumno se sienta apreciado y que se sienta bien con nuestras clases. Entonces, mm. en este caso, lo felicito, siga así, participe lo más que pueda y nosotros vamos a hacer nuestra parte para que usted pueda mejorar también, ¿ok? Ok, ok, gracias, Perfecto, Tilly, ok. Entonces, ¿no tiene alguna pregunta, alguna duda? No, y si no, yo se la pregunto. Bye. Es más, perfecto. en algún momento yo le he dicho a la teacher que yo me voy a quedar otra vez con él. Ah, <ríe> bye, perfecto, me dice entonces, ¿ok? Sí, no problema, bye. Sí. Ok, so have a good night, ¿ok? I'll see you back tomorrow, ¿ok? Good night. Good night, good night. see you tomorrow. Ok.